I am down about five to six pounds. Um, started out the transformation at 320. Weighed in this morning at like 314 and a half. Um, so decent results for for basically two weeks. Um, but uh, I am gonna make a slight change to the diet. Actually, not a slight change, a big change. All right, what's up guys? This is uh, gonna be my first official vlog day. Right now I got uh, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half left of work to do this morning. Um, I've got some emails to follow up and some quotes to do and then I am off to the gym. Um, try to take you along there and then when we get back, we'll talk about those diet changes. Can't really go wrong with uh, chocolate and peanut butter. So I'm gonna finish that while I finish up this work and then uh, Get some pre-workout in and, and head off to the gym. All right, guys, so I just got back from the gym, had a pretty good workout. It was um, chest and triceps day. Um, I've got some shoulder pain issues that are kind of preventing me from doing everything I want to do, especially with pressing exercises. Um, basically, uh, let's see, would have been six, seven years ago now, I had a shoulder surgery for a torn labrum. Yeah, so surgery is probably in my future at some point to fix this shoulder. Um, just not in the cards right now. I think rehab on it was like four to six months. So pretty much throw this whole effort and transformation out the window if I went that route. So um, for the time being, just try to get, I'm just trying to get the mobility back uh, and the strength of the support muscles in my shoulder. Uh, I'm trying to get them back to where they used to be because I think what happened was uh, with the type of shape that I was in and still playing football, I think that um, those muscles were supporting probably a shoulder that didn't heal quite the way it should have. Uh, so if I can get back there and, and get back to normal pressing exercises without pain, that'd be fucking awesome. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about in this vlog uh, was nutrition and diet. Before I get into this, if you have the time, go back and watch my original uh, first video that I posted. And you'll see in there, September 2016, last year, uh, I was kind of at my highest weight that I was really ever at in my life by you know, 80, 80 pounds at least. So around September, I actually started tracking nutrition again and, and paying attention to what I was doing. I actually did a keto diet at that point and just cardio, just uh, one to two miles of walking a day. 
got the Fitbit and, and made sure I hit my step goals and, and ended up dropping about 50 pounds from September to um, mid-November. So since about uh, two weeks before I actually started the Transformation Challenge, I've been basically doing more of a traditional diet um, and tracking my macros and everything, and, and I've kept it pretty clean. I'm hitting about, the goal is to hit about 40% of my macros from protein, 40% from carbs, maybe even down to 35% on the carbs, and then 20 to 25% from fat, which is kind of typically where I used to be back when I played football, when I would do bulking diets. I was always small for the position I played in football, so I always had to eat a shitload of food. This is kind of the macro profile that I would go by when I was doing that, when I was trying to bulk and, and gain weight and gain muscle mass, and never was really concerned with having a six pack. I just needed to be strong as shit. But what I found from now compared to when I was doing keto is that I just don't feel as good and I don't know if I have an insulin sensitivity issue or, or if maybe a gluten allergy or something but there's definitely something going on there what I'm gonna do basically starting uh, at the end of this week Friday will be my last day of this diet itself um, make sure I take photos so I've got my before and my after photos and I'm gonna switch back to a keto diet I'm not gonna change my total calories I'm not gonna change what I'm doing at the gym the only thing I'm gonna do is basically change the macro profile from where I'm at now to keto. The, the main thing here is to make sure I don't change too many things, right? If I continue to lose weight, I need to make sure I maintain that same deficit that I'm at right now. Also making sure I'm not changing my, my workouts and, and my routine at the gym a whole lot. Uh, I don't want to skew the results one way or the other, but what I do know is that generally speaking, I feel better and I, I'm easy, it's easier for me to stay focused and, and on track on a keto diet. So. I think it's going to be the better option for me, but we'll we'll kind of let the befores and after show and, uh, and the data actually speak for itself and, and see where things go. I know from last time, when I get into ketosis, I drop a bunch of water weight right away. So I'm not really going to be looking at the scale all that much, but looking at the progress photos from, from start to finish and gauging how I feel at the gym. And, and this whole transformation for me, it's not about a number on the scale. I really could care less what the fuck I weigh. But... I want to get back to being able to lift weight and be in shape and be athletic and be able to just feel good uh, about, you know, myself. I want to make sure that I maintain my strength, maintain my improvements that I'm having in the gym from a strength perspective. Uh, that is one concern that I have on keto is, is uh, I don't want to lose muscle mass. I've already <laughs> lost a lot of muscle mass over the past several years of just kind of not giving a shit, basically. And... Uh, I don't want to lose what I have left. So uh, leg days are still going well. Uh, back days are going well. Shoulders, like I said, my right shoulder for my surgery is uh, it's getting better, but it still hurts, which is kind of affecting my chest day. But back and bias, uh, leg days are going real well. So overall, I'm happy. That's the plan for right now. Um, tonight is Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day night. Uh, so girlfriend will be home in about a half hour. We have plans this evening, so um, probably won't vlog the rest of the night, but I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the first vlog. Hopefully many more of these to come. Feel free to comment below with any suggestions. Uh, tell me what you want to see, uh, and I'll be happy to try to accommodate. Uh, hit that like button or the dislike button. I don't know. Whatever. Um, subscribe, and uh, if you don't mind, share this video with your friends. Hit me up on Instagram as well. Link is in the description. And uh, have, have a great day, guys.